Hey everybody, CVH here, and in today's video I have some highlights with the Item Battle Mage combo deck. You might have seen this before on the channel, if you haven't, you've probably at least seen some Sorcerer or Assassin variations on the theme. I just love these combo decks with Master of Arms and Gardener of Swords, two of my favorite cards. I love how they play, they're very different from the typical Legends deck. Uh, they cycle through the deck incredibly fast, and you can get to some amazingly interesting board states, and uh, just ridiculous things can start to happen. Creatures with the stats that you wouldn't even believe uh, until you've seen it. This particular version dips into strength just a little bit for the Ancestors Battle Axe, which can help get some incredible stats on the board without even having to use Master swordsmith like the sorcerer and assassin versions might uh, but if you're unfamiliar with this deck basically it's just a combo deck that cycles incredibly fast dumps a bunch of the items in the discard pile like dragon priest mask tome of alteration etc and then you do crazy things with master of arms and gardener of swords got the journey to sovereign guard in there just in case you want to recycle through our deck as well that's not too central to the strategy though, even though it might look like it is. The highlights you're about to see are just a couple games I've chosen to show you all from this past weekend's Gauntlet event. I did use Item Battle Mage for one of the runs, and it did go 9-2, so pretty good there. I've also had some success with the build on the actual Legend Ladder recently. I've played this deck to Legend number 2 two times over the course of the past week, and it has maintained a very good win percentage in Top 10 Legend. Uh, I've just been playing this deck a lot recently, I don't even really know why, I just I picked it up again after a while not really playing the battle. Battle Mage version just had a blast and took a lot of really convincing wins in a couple formats. So hopefully you guys enjoyed these highlights as much as I enjoy playing the deck. Definitely recommend you give it a shot. I do think it's one of the most powerful combo decks in Legends currently, maybe ever. Uh, it is rather hard to play though, and just because I think it's one of the more powerful combo decks does not mean that it's without its inconsistencies, of course. But hopefully you guys check it out, and if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and stay subscribed for more Legends content. Follow my stream in the description. I'll see you next time. So we're just gonna just gonna wing it and see what happens. Minimize that. Don't need that up right now. Okay. Should be good. Should be good. Is the in-game volume okay? Let me know if it's uh, too soft or too loud or whatever. I guess Battle Mage. Honestly, it's like a reasonable full keep. That is something we want to discard early, so good news for us. Orc clan captain, right off the bat. So pretty much just aggro battle mage. I'm gonna discard the battle axe. Oh, I was like, where did I put my coffee? You actually pay attention because I don't understand how to play this deck. Oh wait, you've seen me play it before, right? I'm sure you've seen me play it before. This video's on the channel. I'll be playing. It's like very similar to Item Sorcerer, except you have the crazy buffs. Get the camera over a bit. Okay. I guess here I'll just go for Daggerfall and commit to Cunning Ally next turn. With the ring, this matchup's a lot easier. But again, as long as we draw the Glass Helms, we're good to go, I think. I have it when I try it, it never works out. It's really hard to play. And sometimes you do just get unlucky and drop poorly. It happens. Okay, I'm not doing that. That is not worth it. So if I miss on the Cunning Ally, I take a Needless 4. But uh, I really want to develop. Okay. Yeah, having two in the discard can screw with the Master Mask Chain, but what I've always done is just not put a second in the discard pile if I really need to get Tomes back. It's pretty much the rule. Everyone acts like like you're forced to get multiple. You know how hard it is to get like three or two Ancestors Badlocks in the discard pile? You have to try to do that. You're not hard casting them a lot. <laughs> it's really, really hard sometimes. Not that that's a bad thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, if we're up against like any sort of aggressive deck, we don't even really need the tomes back. But then you can just play Master of Arms and keep a Dragon Priest Mask in your hand. Like if you know you have two battle axes in the discard, keep a Dragon Priest Mask in your hand so you can go Master of Arms, get the battle axes back, and then develop a Dragon Priest Mask. There's a lot of ways to, a lot of wiggle room. I'm trying to say, it's really not that bad.
Hmm. Maybe we just take Conspirator and commit to next turn getting the helm back. I'm not going to attack. Last time I attacked him down to 27, someone down to 27, they just happened to be playing Afflicted a lit. I don't think that's relevant here. Third Shiny Axe. Even if I made a third Shiny Axe uh, between games, it wouldn't include it in this deck. It like goes with the amount of premiums you had when you registered the deck in Gauntlet. So that feels bad. Ah, this is annoying. Okay, so I don't really think Ice Storm's getting any better, so I'll just go ahead and reset the board here. How you doing, Mario's Bell? Welcome to the stream. It's never getting better. I can probably smack for one, though. Surprisingly, two glass helms, considering how strong they are against aggro. Yeah, they're really strong against aggro. The problem is that they're a dead card against every single other deck. And against a lot of decks, like Control Mage, Control Anything, Ramp Anything, you literally get punished for playing them. Like you, you, they're they're so dead that you can't actually play them or discard them because if you do, they'll interrupt getting tomes back, which is your win condition in those. So basically, the win condition against this kind of deck is we eventually draw a glass helm at some point, and if we can do that, we typically are going to just win. Or I could simply wait, um, go like Alice Conspirator. I could I could like Camel one Mace. And then save this to make sure I get double helm back. It's like one turn. Like, I mean, they're master robbing next turn, uh, next turn or the turn after that. So I guess I just do this. Yeah. Uh, see, now I gotta take it. That's what's annoying. Because I, because I, I milled the helm. I probably shouldn't have milled the helm. That's it. I'll stop him at 28, because then the uh, let will come and uh, give him a card, possibly. Band together, orcs. Dude, it's all good, Jindrek. Welcome back. Hopefully you've been well, too. The Nords must take back Skyrim. This is weird. Actually, it's not that weird. It's fine. Ooh, nice. That is kind of fine with me, man. And the cool thing here is that I can kill everything and just set up for the craziness next turn. Uh, is there like anything better to do? If I trade that in, I think I do want to trade that in because it makes sure I get mace next turn. I can go battle axe, uh, battle battle axe, mask, helm, mace. It's kind of awkward. Like, do I lightning bolt this just to not take two damage? He doesn't have any single lethal draw here. I could just play Daggerfall. I think that's reasonable enough. I'm gonna gain eight next turn every single time because we save the Gardener for just this occasion. And if I had played it last turn, I would have died to the charge. Would have probably just used it like that and played a 6 5 instead. Wow, that's interesting. I don't even really think we need to give him the uh, the 5 5 this turn, honestly. You best stay on the marked path. There's life in this old thing, yes. So if we give him the 5 5, we might have like a 5 5 to play next turn, you know? Right now we can kind of keep a shackle for a while. Maybe just never give it to him. I don't really need the tome, I already have a tome. In fact, lethal next turn is a legitimate option here. Dude, Viper, thank you very much for the resub. I don't know if it's going to show because Streamlabs is not working for me. It showed the last one. But, uh... Yeah, it's just, uh... The site looks down. Wait, no, it might be getting better. Hold on. Let me make this play, and we'll we'll address that when we get to it, I guess. Another gigantic master of arms. So we have uh, 21, 22, 24. We definitely have lethal here. Okay, whatever this is should not be enough, right? This should be good. 
Even if it was more cool, we can uh, suit up this thing. Or use Lightning Bolt. Wait, we can't use Lightning Bolt. What am I talking about? We just had to suit up the maze. It's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Your opponent can't know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing. Sage advice. Mage, 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 mage. Really good against any of the aggressive mages. Just kind of there. Otherwise. It's fine. Oh, it's Mr. Meow. Good luck. Mace plus face wins the race. It really does. Dude, Mace is a crazy card when you're just trying to race. Sometimes when you don't draw Glass Helm, you can still beat Aggro decks if you just have a really good start with, like, uh, Blacksmiths and Wardcrafters and Allies, and you just start equipping Maces and just, you beat them. You'd, like, two or three turn them. That is not the traditional game plan against that kind of deck, though. But it can happen. I want to see what kind of deck he is. Mace of Cucumber and Stu Good. Midrange Prophecy Mage. Or Control Prophecy Mage with Clerics, and then I'll be sad. Hey, I wish I had another Magicka right now. Yeah, it's Midrange Prophecy. Seems good. Just gonna grab a tome here. The whole prophecy part of this deck is kind of useless against me. Don't we all wish we had one more Magicka? Yep. Absolutely, all the time. Strictly good. We fight for all Skyrim. I shall be your eyes and ears. Keeping that, I guess I might ship a camel. I have a lot of camels. Gonna play ladder today? Ah, eh, probably not. This is my second gauntlet run. Definitely gonna do another gauntlet after this. Not sure after that. If I were gonna play ladder, I'd play with this deck anyway, and I'm playing constructed right now, so... Imagine this is ladder and you're good to go. Just, like, add a number from, like, 1 to 10 over here and you get the entire experience. <laughs> it's pretty much the same. Alright, so we can fire both that. We can, uh... Trade up with a tome one two three four five six and leave that. A strong arm is what you need. Yeah, I'm surprised he had to uh play that raw hoffinger. That's feeling really bad against a uh, deck with lightning bolts and stuff. I've been there though. This deck also has like a million shackles, so it's unlikely they really do a whole lot. Against this deck, you could like justify doing this before an extra rune is broken just in case they top deck a Hoffinger, make it harder to proc, but I don't think we're there yet. Might just use it to trade favorably. Doesn't feel amazing, but it does leave a 5-3 on the board. Yeah, we're just outlasting him. Got double camel still next turn. Good to go. This is the deck I hit legend with this season. It went like 24 and 3. 23 and 4, actually. The other one. Uh, he gets the jab. Alright, I'm not saying Cleric's one of the best cards in the game. Uh, we'll, we'll call Cleric one of the best yellow 2 drops in the game. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going to go. Alright, definitely not keeping the dragon. I guess I should just keep this and shit, right? Okay. Do you think he's gonna javelin my dagger fall? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should actually just play it, but I don't know. Don't wanna make it look too obvious. But it's fairly obvious.
History shall remember this day. And just beat the devil out of it. Just hold him the jav. Holding the jav. Uh okay. By the eighth they will meet their makers. Actually, oh man, he could play Hoffinger if I don't kill it. He could play Hoffinger even if I do kill it. That other card has to be Hoffinger though. Okay, whatever, we'll kill it. And now if he does go for Jab, I can just storm anyway. I don't think. There's no way. No way. I guess I, I don't know. Like he, We know he has the Jab, so I kind of have to do the Firebolt if I'm going to play it, but maybe I shouldn't even play it. I don't think this deck's playing Executes if it's my list or close to it. Hey, how you doing, Shadato? What's going on today? Yeah, the new drummer, I mean, we haven't seen the rest of the cards in the set, but I'm not stoked about an 11 cost in this meta. Like, yeah, it's good. It's better if you have Halls the drummer on the war, but that's not really an argument. The card has to be somewhat good by itself, too. No matter what. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably use Storm if he develops like anything else. Right, he doesn't. He's making me think. Damn. I hate when I have to do that. I just want to see what he does with these last couple cards. And now he can't uh, hot finger me from hand. So if he develops and tries to set another one up, I can just storm that one away. Yeah, you read it wrong, unpredictable. It just comes down as an 11 cost, 11 11. Okay, we got that thing out of there. Let's see, my combo deck wants the extra cards. It's got to think about whether to play the value game. That's hard to do against me, too. Okay, that should be the game. We're close to it. I guess I could have played this left. Well, now it's got Glass Helm, so it's just like definitely going to survive. That's yeah, just good. Hey, Skuma, how you doing? And Shinara. How you doing, Icarus? The desperation. What was my first loss this run? I think we just got like pressured by some mid-range deck, but I forget what it was. It was yesterday, and then today's loss was because I overdrew exactly Ice Storm. <laughs> just had like six things with three health. Forehead. It wasn't my fault though. I don't think it was. We were gonna overdraw something. 